So hi, I'm Matty Pearce and I'm from Spotify and I talked about how we scale our data, data infrastructure at Spotify. One of the biggest challenges is to really make sure that you monitor things like operational tools. The big data area is heavily focused on developer tools, but for operational tools, there's basically nothing out there and you end up building it yourself and that, that takes time. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some interesting stuff, maybe not on the stuff that I talked about, but for instance, we we one guy who wrote this uh, framework called Shio, which is basically enabling you to do to write Scala-based pipe, data pipelines that can run in normal Hadoop, but also in in, in Dataflow's offering, which uh, has been hugely successful for us. And also Luigi, I have to mention our our. Or it's an open source thing. It's basically a Python wrapper to, to deal with dependencies and when, when you actually start your, even though you're starting Java programs, it's good to have this Python. It's basically sort of the DSL for defining data jobs. And it's old, but it's good. When we deal with incidents, to actually get that process right. I, I mean, Google is a big company. They have 24 seven support with their SREs, which means that their SREs, when they support us, they can work during office hours and then hand over to somebody else and then they can work around the clock, around the globe. Now, we're a smaller company, we cannot do that. So for us, you know, that extends to, you know, really long hours and so forth. So I think that's the biggest challenge, to get that kind of flow back and forth working. Because it's basically, it's a new tool for us. I mean, previously we have a data center, we have servers that we control and blah, blah, blah. we don't anymore. We have to explain to our service provider, Google here, what's wrong. And they have to also understand the level of you know, seriousness or whatever to actually make things work. As I've mentioned before, we, we have autonomy. So basically, every team decides themselves on what to use. Now, for typically services, we tend to try focus on Java and Python because then it's easy to move engineers around. But for anything else, we're kind of free to use Scala or what, what not, but it's, you know, it's freedom under responsibility. You have to think about the fact that you might not be there forever in the team, that you have to be able to hand it over. You know, if you do it in some strange language that people don't really know of, you have to document to make sure that people, from operational point of view at least, can, can, can run your system.